Well hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video from Overbike Gaming, I am the Majestic Snare. Welcome, and uh, this is my disembodied voice, which is uh, here to say welcome as well. It's doing alright, I'm doing alright. How the devil are you doing? That's the main thing. I don't feel like I ask you enough guys, so uh, yeah, let me know how's it going for you today. Good day, bad day, marks out of 10, anything goes. So today's video is going to be about something that's going to be in the title, it's not going to be a secret before you get to this point, and that's talking about can Warframe as a game and digital extremes as a as a publisher or developer can that happen elsewhere can it be something that somebody else can replicate and not take over from digital extremes but can they replicate the success the strength of community the amount of content uh the the, the size of the universe and the love that's out there for the game I, I just don't know if it's possible now there might be some big companies out there that are trying to do the same thing and looking at warframe going they, it's a free-to-play game they make a decent kind of profit from it people are engaged people like stand by the game stand up for the game and all this kind of good stuff but they have the wrong aspect I think so big companies like Ubisoft EA um, those kind of people they'll have shareholders to satisfy so going to them saying we're gonna make this brand new franchise it's gonna be great but we're not gonna pay you know, we're not gonna get anyone to pay for it that's not gonna wash is it for shareholders wanting uh, to make a profit all they care about is the monetization of games making their, their investment back, and boom. Whereas Digital Extremes, as far as I am aware, although they do have, I think, some shareholders or investors in the actual company, they're not bound and they have full creative control. So is there a company out there that I'm not aware of that has the full creative control and they have the ability to, to kind of create that community and fantastic game? I mean, it's, it, all the stars have to align here. I mean, let's not forget that Digital Extremes nearly went out of business before they properly launched uh, Warframe properly. And that was you know, part of the reason why I'm, I think I'm so en enamored and endeared towards Warframe, for the kind of history, the, the sort of underdog did good, that kind of story. Now that's fantastic, but would, uh, would another company be able to do such a thing? Maybe there's been others that have taken a chance and failed. Maybe there's other big companies that are thinking about seriously how they do free to play. Are they contacting Digital Extremes and saying, how the hell are you doing it? You know, I think that must be going on uh, corporate side of you know things. And I, I just, for me, I always treat Warframe as a hobby rather than a gaming experience now. And, you know, I will use that term experience because it's a perpetual online kind of game and that's the way things are going. Um, but certainly I, I treat it as a hobby. I'll jump on, maybe grind for some uh, resources. I'll do the sortie. I'll link up with friends and do some stuff we've been trying to wait to do together. You know, there's always things to do in Warframe. The content keeps on coming. Now, the rate at which they're able to do that, I think, dictates the love and the 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 community strength back because they know that more content's coming. When they do an, a cinematic trailers and announcements at Tenocon about Fortuna and Railjack and things coming to the Switch, you know, all of that stuff is fantastic and it's pulling people together. Now, I can't think of many games that have that. I mean, we've seen a bit of a, a thing recently with games getting kind of revamped and mega updates, as Jim Sterling actually mentioned it. Uh, I was watching his video today, by the way. Um, but uh, I, I just don't think that the mega update thing is necessarily the same aspect, because what Warframe and Digital Extremes do is, it's not a trickle, but they, they give decent amount of content on a regular basis and refresh it enough. So for example, recently we had the whole Acolytes um, situation over a weekend which I grind, I grind, ground, I grinded. I don't know what the verb would be there, but I, I did grind a lot uh, for those particular mods because I knew they'd be transient, they wouldn't be there forever. So I wanted to collect up, you know, the 12 or 16 mods that were out there. And that was great. You know, that was a kind of a focal point for a weekend. I had a great time. Um, some of them were really difficult to get hold of, but it was an event, it was something to do. And I think when you look at what they keep on putting out like that, the kind of special events, um, spread out enough to not be samey samey but enough to keep you in, enamoured with the game and I'm still sat here thinking when Railjack drops and I can jump on a ship with uh, three other people or however many and just roam the space skies and <laughs> kind of do the Star Trek bridge crew in Warframe it's going to be amazing it's going to be absolutely amazing and uh, so I just oh, I'm sitting here going oh de you are fantastic and I know I'm starting to sound more and more like a fanboy as, as time goes on but this is a valid thought experiment here what do you guys think about this do you think another company has got the capability to do what uh, Digital Extremes has done do you think they have got the ability to turn around a new 
sort of franchise of game. It's not even a franchise, is it? A new game that will capture the imagination of a group of people, the extent that Warframe has, uh, and have that full creative control. It's the only way they're able to do what they do. They don't do things for necessarily just for profit. They do things because it's cool, or it looks great, or the fans will love it. That's how I perceive it anyway. They've got to make money, they're a company, but they have this passion about the game. And I think it just comes through on when they're looking at data, as, as uh, Rebecca did on the last dev stream, pulled up some Excel spreadsheets, you know, looking at how many uh, people are playing each different frame, you know, different mastery rank levels. There's stuff like that, but there's also stuff like they're, they're producing these kind of big cinematic quests that people love to dig into the lore and kind of understand what's going on and make up theories. It's all together. So uh, I just wanted to make that very, very clear that um, I, I love the, what, the amount of content they bring out. I love the way that they have themselves set up and I love the relationship that they have with the players. I don't think I've ever seen it with a different game, uh, certainly not to this extent and this size and this scale. But I would love to know what you guys think, uh, and maybe you've even got suggestions of companies that are doing the same thing. Maybe at different levels, or you really, you know, found a fantastic game, you need to scream about it. Please let me know down in the comments. It'll be lovely to hear what you say uh, and what you think about this. Um, but that's my view. I don't think, I, th I think it's unique, but I don't think it's impossible to replicate. It just needs perfect like, stars to align and make it just all great for it to, to actually get pulled off. Um, you know, it's the magician effect, you know, just. You think it's really easy uh, when you when you see the trick and you're like, oh yeah, he's just, he's just doing that. But when you look at the detail, it's so many things have to work together to make it effective. But that's my thoughts, guys. Thank you for sticking with me on the videos today. Um, it's been fantastic to have a bit of a brain dump and activate the old neurons uh, talking about Warframe. Um, if you want me to do any other particular Warframe type videos, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you did like it, or even dislike it if you didn't like it very much. But I prefer you to say like, because it makes me less sad. But yes, uh, we have videos coming out every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I'll be back on Thursday with something else to probably dis to discuss with you and, and talk about stuff. Uh, but uh, until then, um, don't forget to subscribe, and it'd be awesome. And I will see you guys very, very soon. So until then... Okay, love you, bye-bye.